Saturday, I had for breakfast some uh, four eggs, a whole avocado. I'm gonna try to keep it low carb all morning. Oh, and a protein shake, sorry. Protein shake, four eggs, avocado. I'm gonna keep it very low carb all morning. I have a uh, H&M scoop neck, I mean scoop bottom, my Levi jeans, my Chelsea boots, my Armitron, Armitron watch, Shields of Strength necklace. I'm all flashed out. I'm going to Babe's house. I have my uh, little lunch pail with no lunch. <laughs> I only have like a protein bar in there just in case. But I already have an idea of what I want to eat and where we're gonna go eat uh, and what I wanna go pick up because I found something online on Instagram that I really wanna try. And it's still diet friendly. So it's gonna kill one of my cravings. Uh, so anyways, we have a lot of things planned today. I have to shave my legs, which is what something I wanted to do yesterday. I wasn't able to because I wasn't able to find the razor. So hopefully Babe can take me to go find that so I can shave my legs for the show. So we gotta go to Target. We have a massage planned. And then either hit the gym or hike, one of those two. But today is very, very hot. So let's see what happens. It's just gonna be a good day. Let's have some fun. I'll see you guys in the next clip. Small update. Uh, I'm in, I just arrived to Downey, or Norwalk, either one. But um, yesterday, I think I told you guys that I drank about two gallons of water. Now, normally on a typical day, you know, just training or not even in prep, or in prep as well, uh, I would drink about a gallon. I guess you could say I've been water loading these last couple days. I haven't been doing it on purpose necessarily. It's just, I mean, I know a lot of competitors and a lot of comp uh, people water load. I'm not 100% sure why. Um, so I can't give you guys any info on that 100%, but all I know is that I have been drinking two gallons of water just because I am thirsty as hell. The workouts are draining, keto is, depleting me of, of water because I'm not holding any carbs in my system so I'm completely depleted so I realized that my body requires a lot more uh, fluids than before and the thing is that it, it's not planned and it's funny because it's so close to the show I realized that I just I need a lot more so the reason I'm bringing this up is because I was in the car and I was thinking, oh, you know, like, I'm not gonna drink a lot of water. Uh, you know, I'm not feeling it today. All of a sudden, the entire drive here, and I brought a half gallon, and I drank one before coming here, and I drank half of this already. So, just to show you that it's barely about to be one o'clock, and I already drank a gallon, a gallon point twenty-five of water. And, on top of that, I'm rocking, look at that, my uh, aviators that they gave me at the Lou Ferrigno in honors of the beginning of peak week. So, anyways, I'm gonna go inside, see what we're gonna do, because I have no idea what's gonna happen right now. They're kind of broken, I don't know if you guys can tell, but anyways, let's go inside. So we came to uh, Ralph's real quickly. I'm gonna show you guys what we're gonna get, if we can find them. I looked online and it's called a real good pizza. It's basically a protein pizza made of chicken. And it has 25 grams of protein and I found it! Oh my god, they're so expensive. It's right. I'll open it. <laughs> this is it right here. They're supposed to have, the macros are supposed to be like really, really good. Uh, 16 fat, four carb, 25 protein. I don't care about the fat. It's a keto friendly pizza, so I'm gonna get one or two. Yay! We just got home. These are the two pizzas. This is Babe's. Three cheese pizza, and then I got the pepperoni. Let's throw them in the oven and see how they turn out. No! No! Volume! Volume! Can't lose any of the cheese. Can't afford to. It's all volume right there. So, see how these turn out. It looks like a mess. But I already took a couple pieces and taste 
looked amazing. That keto pizza. Pepperoni. Cheese looks a lot better for some reason. I mean, it looks like like nice and burnt, but it's like, tastes amazing. Okay guys, so we just went to go get our massages done. Yay! It was so, awesome. Yes. <laughs> so uh, the massage was actually for her birthday. That was her birthday gift. And the thing is that we missed our appointment last time because we had to, it was her fault. Um, <laughs> no, it wasn't. It was my sister's birthday. Y'all can understand. Yeah, right? I don't understand. Anyway, <laughs> so we had to move it and then the place gave me like an extension to get another appointment, so we did. So we got that today and it actually worked out perfectly because now after today, peak week starts. So, no, and we'll have to make my friends too. Oh, well, yeah, that too. Peak week start for me, and then she just finished school, finals is over. So that way we get to relax and start the week off, right? And now we came, I don't even know where we are, to be honest. Um, we're in Long Beach, no? Is it Long Beach? Yeah. Well, okay. Well, it looks like Long Beach is like a plaza, as you can see. There's all these stores and stuff, so we're gonna go eat some chipotle. Time to get some chipotle. Gym. After the massage, we went to go eat Chipotle, and then we knocked out for about five hours straight. Now it's two o'clock in the morning. I don't want to go home yet without knowing that I hit this leg session. So I'm here in Crunch and Cerritos, about to kill this workout. Leg session, ab session coming straight at you guys. Let's do this. So I had to keep the workout very, very short. As you can see, I only did like two, three leg movements. I did uh, leg extension, five sets, 50 reps. Uh, I did squats right after. I did uh, two sets, 20 reps, one set, 15 reps. And then the next three sets I did heavy. Just change it up to, to see if I can Still do some heavy weight, and uh, I just wanted to test myself today. Just play around with it because it's late, and uh, you know, I just I don't know. I just wanted to change it up mentally. But uh, the only reason I'm talking to you guys in the car while the car is getting full of gas, even though it's done, is because there's a bunch of music outside, and I don't want to get flagged on on YouTube. But anyways, uh, yeah, uh, give me a second. I always tend to forget to tie the gas thing down. <laughs>
it is 3 30 in the morning <laughs> that is another reason why i had to cut it short so i only did three leg movements and then i did two to three ab movements which was uh the leg raises as you guys saw uh super set up with the calves i did five sets of 25 each back to back just to get my blood pumping and then basically right after that i did uh crunches but i switched it up i did 100 reps but instead of just going straight up uh, i did going to the side to get the obliques just a, a small bit different and then in addition after every 20 reps i would do a couple uh side twists 10 to 20 depending how many i can knock out and then that was basically it and to be honest with you guys i'm fried i have a wedding to go to tomorrow but you know what the grind doesn't know what day or time it is so it doesn't matter what time it is uh, put in the work uh, that's what i'm doing and you guys see all the effort that I'm, I'm going through and all the effort that i'm trying to put into the show i i'm not only doing it just for the show i'm really doing it just to push myself farther to see where I can really, where I can get to in these next couple days. I was talking to Carlitos not too long ago when I was at Chipotle. Um, we're figuring out how to, to get the tanning stuff done. Uh, we're figuring out the board short colors. We're figuring out water intake. We're, f we're like, we're, we're detailing down now. Like it's serious. Like it, it's getting really, really intense. It's crunch time. And to be honest with you, it's 3.30 and I'm starving. <laughs> I'm starving like no other so i don't have anything to eat in here i i went inside the gas station and i was afraid to buy something that i was going to regret later so i decided i'm just going to hold off and i'm going to just eat when i get home that's basically it or i'll have like a protein shake before i go to sleep and you know call it a night so thank you guys for watching the video uh it was a very busy video, uh, very busy day, very, very good day. I was able to work in the morning, do my cardio. Uh, no matter what happened throughout the day, we were still able to to get the workouts in and, and to be and to me, mentally, that's that's what is important right now because that's that's what's needed. You know, no excuses whatsoever. Uh, getting my meals in food uh training sleep uh it, it felt so good the fact that we went to go get a massage even though it was a very all right let me tell you this i've i've had massages before and uh i've had massages with jimmy and those are sports massages right so they're a little bit more intense i guess you can say because Jimmy is not afraid to get in the muscle and he's not afraid to like hurt me or he's not afraid to break down the scar tissue. I feel like people at a regular massage place, they kind of like are hesitant to apply pressure because they're not 100% sure what you can take. So I just kind of told the lady, you know, not to be afraid and get in there. There was a couple of knots in there that I was surprised that she found and I was surprised that I even had. But um, nevertheless, anyways, that's not the point. <laughs> the point is, it was a it was a good idea to to have that massage, you know, before peak week and before, I mean, after Babe's finals and stuff. So it it planned out perfectly. And right after that, we went to go have a good meal, and we passed out, passed out. I had passed out for four to five hours, and I haven't been able to do that since. Uh, you know these last three weeks uh, since I've been gone in Indiana since we I think even before when we went to Vegas I haven't been able to rest so with that being said guys I'm gonna go home get some proper rest get some food or a shake in me something some type of nutrients in my system and then I'll see you guys in the next clip I'm sorry that it's starting to look a little blurry and grainy because it's nighttime and sadly this camera does not adjust well to that so anyways I love every one of you guys peak week is coming hard and I'm gonna show you guys what I'm capable this year what kind of package I'm bringing this year according to Carlitos is that we're, we're going for the win man 
I'm not gonna lie, I'm scared. I'm excited, I'm nervous. It didn't kick in until I registered on Friday, which was yesterday. I, <laughs> I don't know what to tell you guys. I'm, I'm Honestly, I'm a little nervous. But at the same time, I'm excited to stand on stage and, and be among great people who are going to compete against me and I just wanna be the best that I can be. Looking at my physique now, compared to what I accomplished last time, and that's what I wanted to tell you guys, I already won my competition. Because my competition was not the people who are gonna be standing on stage. My competition, in my head, was my package that I brought last year. Last year, I did not look like this. I did not hold on to this much muscle. I did not see my obliques at all. This time I feel a little bit more confident. Can I look better? Of course. Of course, there's always room for improvement. There's always room for uh, good criticism. Good criticism, sorry. But am I happy with what I am bringing to the stage this time? Heck yeah, I'm hella happy. Am I satisfied? Probably not. You will never, I'm gonna be honest with you guys, and, and this is not a, you know, this is just a fair warning. When you get into fitness, fitness is a great sport. It teaches you a lot, not only about fitness itself, health, nutrition, but it teaches you a lot about yourself, your character, your determination, how far you're willing to go. If you're a quitter, if you are, um, like I said, determined, are you passionate? Are you a person who, you know, just like, you start to see characteristics of yourself in fitness and that's, I kind of like that. Uh, you see characteristics when you're alone and you also get to see characteristics when you're with other people. You tend to grow not only physically but mentally and also uh, sometimes spiritually, sometimes uh, just in relationships with friends. And that's why I love fitness because that's the type of sport it is. But however, just to let you guys know, once you start fitness, there will get a point where you will start to see results, you will be happy with your results, but you won't be satisfied. You will always want more. You're always gonna want more. Now, necessarily, a lot of people will say, well, you're being greedy, that's a bad thing. No, wanting more, having ambition is a good thing. Letting it take control of your life, that's a bad thing. You have to remember that this sport, this fitness thing is, it has to be part of your life. It can't take over your life. When you guys see us on YouTube and you see a lot of YouTubers going to, to, to uh, well basically their life is all about fitness, that doesn't mean that that's the only thing they do. You know, they have other things going on. They, excuse me, they have other ambitions. They don't let fitness take control of their life. It's a big part of, the, of their life, but they don't let it take control of their life. And that's basically what I just want to tell you guys, that when you guys get into fitness, keep that in mind. It's all about balance. Don't give up your your friends. Don't give up your family. Don't give up, don't give up stupid things like that for fitness, necessarily. I mean, if you're like in a prep or you're on a cut, yes, you're going to have to make sacrifices. You won't be able to go out with friends. You won't be able to go, uh, go eat nice meals with your family. But those are temporary sacrifices. A lot of people take fitness a little too seriously and they let it take control of their lives. And then that's when it becomes an obsession. It, does, it no longer come, becomes a passion, it becomes an obsession. And that's where you have to be very careful because there's a very thin, thin line. I'm sorry, I'm going over the, the thin line on the freeway. <laughs> But that's a, a very thin line that you can cross over very quickly. And I think that you have to remember, we all have to remember, that we have to remain humble. We have to remain uh, conscious of the fact that why we started fitness. Why is fitness, I mean, how did fitness incorp be incorporated into our lives? So the point of this little rant, I guess you could say, is just practice balance, no matter what you do whether it's school, work, uh, your hobby, uh, gym, anything you do, it's all about practicing balance. Life is about balance. You can't let one thing revolve, I mean, you can't let everything else revolve about one thing. Except, there's one exception, God.
that's the only exception. Everything else has to revolve around God. That's the only exception that you can you can have. Because nothing will revolve. I mean, nothing. You will have nothing if you don't put God in the center, and then everything else revolves around Him. If you do, if you replace God with something else, watch how your life will start to unravel in a very bad way. You have to remember to put God first, and not just say it. Really do it. So, with that being said, guys, life is about balance. Practice balance. And have fun. Have fun if you're not on prep. Have fun if you, you know, go to school all the time. Those people who are special in your life, remember, they're waiting for you to make time for them. They're waiting for you to say, hey, I did something special for you. You know, not everything's about you guys. You have to put yourself away and remember that there's people around you that also need your time, your your effort, your love, and just, I don't know why I'm telling you guys this, to be honest with you, but anyways, life is about balance. <laughs> I love you guys. I, I really do, from the bottom of my heart. And uh, hopefully these videos are encouraging to you guys, and hopefully that you guys learn something, fitness-wise, or anything from me. I, I just want to be a blessing to every single one of you guys, so everybody who's watching this, just know that you are blessed. I don't care where you're at, who you are, what you've gone through, you are blessed. I am declaring that right now. It's four o'clock in the morning and that's all I have to tell you guys. If, it, if, there's only, if there's anything that you can get from this video, it's the fact that you know that you are a child of God and you are blessed. I love every single one of you guys. Thank you. Like the video if you haven't. Subscribe if you haven't. I'll see you guys in the next vlog. Humble Games is out.